I'm Firefighter Sexton, and you're watching Report on Conditions. This week, we take you to several fires, and we highlight a critical move by the county to increase fire preparedness. Hi, I'm Captain Richard Cordova, and thank you for joining CAL FIRE Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. For the past week, from September 4th to September 10th, our firefighters responded to 3,749 calls for service, including 2,946 medical emergencies and 96 fire-related calls. Of the fire calls, 29 were vegetation fires and 12 were structure fires. Let's check out a few highlighted incidents from this past week. On Wednesday, September 6, around 6.30 in the morning, firefighters were dispatched to multiple reports of a recreational vehicle on fire near Highway 74 and Richard Street in the unincorporated area of Lake Elsinore. After difficult access, firefighters arrived at the RV fully involved that was threatening additional vehicles and vegetation nearby and requested additional engines to assist. Firefighters were able to contain the fire to the original RV after about an hour. One adult was displaced and requested assistance from the American Red Cross. There were no injuries to civilians or to firefighters reported. On Wednesday, September 6, around 2 p.m., dispatchers received multiple reports of a house on fire in the 1600 block of First Street in the city of Coachella. The first arriving engine reported flames visible from a single-story, single-family dwelling, as well as down power lines. After about 20 minutes, the fire was contained to the structure and the American Red Cross was requested to assist the family that was displaced. At around noon on Saturday, September 9th, multiple 911 calls were received of the fire in the 6100 block of Natwar Lane in the city of Paris. First arriving engine company officers reported several large pallets of cardboard burning with an immediate threat to the commercial building and requested an additional alarm response. The Eastern Municipal Water District was requested to increase the water flow to the hydrants in the area and the fire was contained after about 90 minutes. Firefighters were on scene for nearly six hours overhauling the heavy fire load. Did you know that the lush green annual grass growing in your yard could be putting your home at risk for wildfire damage? With the recent increase in rainfall, seasonal grasses are growing quickly. And when they dry out, they become fuel for wildfires. Don't wait until it's too late to protect your home. Visit rvcfire.org for information on how to create defensible space and reduce the risk of wildfire damage. from the West Coast. <laughs> Hear those pictures that you asked for for your school project? First day of school, cute as a button. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago. Oh, here's Grandma Florence after that flood wiped out the whole neighborhood. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure we're safe and it's the best way to protect that legacy. Ah, those beans smell heavenly. Mm -hmm. Give mom a little credit. You know what? We should make an emergency communication plan. That way we're ready this year. Oh, great idea. At my dorm, we have emergency kits for earthquakes and wildfires, but I'm sure there's something more local I can send you at the link. Okay, smart. I'm coming to stay with you guys. Protect your legacy. Plan for natural disasters today. Visit ready.gov forward slash plan. This week's strong work goes out to the Riverside County Board of Supervisors, who approved increasing staffing at 10 county fire stations from three firefighters to four firefighters per engine. This increase enhances community safety, protecting lives and property. The additional firefighters have started at their assigned stations and were immediately incorporated into the daily training and activities of their engine crews. The crew at Fire Station 50 in Rancho Mirage had some visitors who traveled pretty far to come say hello. 
The family, who was in town from Hawaii, stopped by to say hi and was greeted with open arms. While there, they received a tour of the station along with some hands-on learning and left with a glimpse in the life of a firefighter.